what's going on people it's hajimoto and we've got another tutorial uh time saver uh, sneak peek trick and tip video in this video i'm going to share with you a technique that i use on how to create a ventilated shroud and a diffuser and what they do to help quiet the rifle as well as uh, condition the airstream. The Umarex gauntlet will be used in this demonstration. Um, you may remember in my baffle video that I put together, I kind of went through exactly what that ventilation hole can do. And I gave a basic description of, you know, how many inches from the back of the breech and so forth. But today I'm going to get into more detail, specifically walking through this, um, which will also talk a little bit about my air stripper and how it channels the air backwards. And so without ventilating the shroud and giving the diffuser um, something at the end, it traps the air in there. It's got nowhere to go. And so what this is going to be is a demonstration of how we're going to modify the shroud and introduce a, uh, a diffuser so that it handles that pressure so that uh, it's not just a dead stop. It actually uh, has more of a controlled release. Um, if you look here, the Umarex gauntlet is fully taken apart, and this is where we're going to start. Um, first, let me cover the bases on what you're going to need to get started. Uh, you're going to need a Sharpie or Micro Sharpie Ultra Thin. That's what I use. Um, just to keep it simple, this is what I recommend that you use. You're also going to need a melamine sponge. Now, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser happens to be one version, but there's Walmart brand, store brand, dollar store. As long as it's a melamine sponge and it's one inch thick, it's going to work for you. So there's no huge amount of money that needs to be done. You'll need a ruler and or tape measure so that we can measure uh, from the end of the shroud forward. And then you need a way to accurately drill the holes in your shroud so that you can ventilate it. So let's get started here. Um, on this picture here, you'll notice that the Umarex gauntlet is taken out of the stock. I only did this so that it was clear for you to see what you need to do. In this photo, what you want to do is from the breech where the, where the barrel, the barrel shroud, where it screws on, you want to make sure it's tight. You want to make sure it's good and tight. Then you want to mark it so that you have some way of knowing what the bottom center is. And you want to measure forward anywhere from one inch to two inches towards the muzzle. And you're going to make a mark. So that when you take that shroud off, you've got a little mark like I've indicated here. Now that's two inches from the end. You can go one inch from the end if, if you want. The thing you've got to take into consideration here is you can see that collar that's on the barrel of the gun that's going to be pushing our diffuser forward that amount, which is about three quarters of an inch to an inch. So if you make a measurement of three quarters of an inch forward, that's where that's going to start. So if you go two inches, you know you've got plenty of room. If you go one inch, in my opinion, it's perfect at one inch. And the next one, you'll notice I drilled the hole. And you can see the hole is good now. So when I screw the, the shroud back on, you'll notice that the hole is going to be pointing down. So once it's back in the stock again, you're not even going to see the hole. Essentially, it's going to be blowing the air down. And you want to do that so that it's not blowing in your face. And what the diffuser is going to do is act as a filter. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a the barrel from the gun, which can stay in the stock. You don't need to take it off. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Our shroud... Also, we're going to need the melamine sponge, which can be a, mag a magic eraser or anything else. Also, a Sharpie Micro, a very thin Sharpie. What we're going to do is the shroud itself. From the breech end of the shroud, you want to measure towards the muzzle one inch to two inches, whichever you want. I use one inch, so in this conversation, we're going to go one inch forward. We're going to then drill our holes that are going to be at the bottom of the shroud. And this one is for a 25 cal, so we've got three holes for ventilation. So when it's put on the barrel of the rifle, the collar pushes forward so we know that a one inch melamine sponge is going to be in the dead center of those holes. So we've got our shroud ready to go. Once we drilled the holes, we sand the inside down so it's smooth. We paint it so that uh, it's black and it matches. And now we're going to use that shroud as our hole tool, the tool to make the hole in the sponge. 
what I'm going to do is take the barrel shroud, set it on the sponge, and I'm going to tape a piece of paper on here. And this is only for you guys so that you can see how I'm using the back and forth action of the shroud to cut the sponge. So I'm going to rotate it back and forth like a sawing action, pushing down very lightly. You don't have to push hard. And you just go back and forth, and then you just go in complete revolutions. And eventually what's going to happen is the shroud is going to slowly just cut down through the melamine sponge. It'll make a perfect plug. So we'll just keep turning this. And there we go. We've got a perfect plug. It's going to be inside the shroud at this point. So all we've got to do is grip the melamine plug, and we can draw it out. And that'll be what we're going to use as our diffuser. Now that we have our sponge center, which is, looks like a, a little plug, we're going to take the cap off of the Sharpie marker, and we're going to put that in the chuck of our drill. On the end, we want to rough that edge up so that it has a little bit of a roughness to it so that when we're pushing it through this foam, it makes the center cut out. So what you're going to do is hold the center and then slowly turn the drill keeping it on center and you'll notice the cap will actually act like a drill and it'll core the center out. So essentially what we're going to have is a melamine sponge donut that's one inch thick. Nice and slow every now and then let go of it so you're keeping it concentric and you see we have a perfectly cut center for our little melamine donut. That's going to be our diffuser that gets slipped down the barrel and then the shroud will go over it. So what we'll do is we'll take our makeshift barrel here and we'll slide this down. It'll be a nice snug fit. Push it all the way to the end where it's at the collar. And again, this is going to be, this video is really made with the Umarex gauntlet in mind. And you push this down so it hits that collar that's in the end. It keeps from going any further. Now the shroud, which we drilled the holes in that we ventilated, will slip down and slip right over the diffuser and it threads into the barrel and gets tightened. So essentially what you have now is a melamine diffuser that acts as a filter and it restricts the airflow so that uh, it quiets things down. It's just that simple. And if you want to remove it when you just pull the shroud off, it's in. You just pull that back off with your with your hands and you can put it back on the barrel again. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. Remember, this technique can be used on any PCP that has a shroud in an inner barrel. This just happens to be shown on the Umarex gauntlet, but you can use this on just about anything to make this happen. Um, you can also use the green scrunch as a diffuser or whatever else you want um, to act as a diffuser so the air is somewhat uh, slowed down on its exit. Feel free to use this uh, technique. I didn't invent it. I just happened to be the one to make a video to share with you guys because this is one of those things that's really hard to explain um, in a text message or written form. So a video gets it done really quick. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys get some use out of this tip trick deal. And we'll catch up with you on the next one.